the backwards world we live in. What's that? Oh, yes, ma'am. Here you go, ma'am. Here you go. Are you Christian? Are you Christian? Yeah, I am. Just yeah. Sean, you know it's horrific, but I have to show them. You know, if not, they'll grow up believing that it's okay. Your mom gets it. Yeah, it's not okay. Your mom gets it. Let me. Um, this is something you can take in your hand. That basically what you see on this sign in, the, in this pamphlet, um, other murder babies. That, I mean, you'll you'll probably agree with what's in there, but that that shows you. The, the image, smaller images of murdered babies and explains the biblical and, and uh, historical precedent for... Well, we're going to read this tonight for Bible study. We're going to talk about how they slaughter gods. Yeah. Well, let me do you want to give any more of those to your Bible study? Huh? you want to give any more of those to your Bible study? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Can I see? Would you guys be willing to come in and speak to um, women at my church? Yeah. Can it's, I um, on here? Uh, when? I have to set it up. Um, Another one. How many are in your Bible study? Um, maybe about 20 women. Any more? Any more? Oh, no. Yeah. Let's do that. You want to do that? Yeah. I have, I have some for young people. Good, 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 good. How many would you like? Um, give me 22. Okay. These are for young people. Thank you. Give you a few. I'll give you some more here. I don't know if you need more. Do you need any more than that or is that good? No, we're good. Okay. So we don't do that. Yeah. God is against us. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave Jesus Christ to save us. And Jesus Christ, he loves the unborn. The Bible says suffer little kids to come unto Jesus. And we can't we can't do that. So when you get grown and you get your wife or you happen to have a girlfriend and she's pregnant, you can't do that. But you, but you wait till you're married. You got to wait till you're married. Yeah, yeah. wait till you're married. Yeah. Because you know what the Bible says. I'm pushing says. that. I'm pushing that. But I didn't wait till I was. I just want to cover all grounds. The goal is to wait till marriage. You know what the Bible says about that? Can I share with your with your sons? Well, the, the Bible says that this is um, Hebrews chapter 13. God says to that the marriage bed is to is to be remain undefiled. And in First Corinth and um, First Corinthians chapter six verse nine says that the sexually immoral and fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. Right. Those who have sex outside of marriage. Yeah, that goes for homosexual liars. Uh, homosexuals, adultery. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thieves, covetous. Every, everything. And, the, and it says in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, the cowardly and murderers and liars and unbelieving will have their part in, in the, the lake. lake of fire. In the lake of fire. Thank you for talking with, me, with us, Oakley. So that... Um, so you don't want to be in any of those groups of people. Because you see, earlier we were at the place where they do this to children. We were seeing cowards and murderers that were didn't want to be responsible. Now you know. And I wish somebody would say something about my kids coming out here looking at this. Because if you can have transsexuals inside classrooms and have homosexuals teaching things, I dare someone to say anything about this. Thank you. You get it, ma'am. The work of the Lord. What's your name? I'm Latitha. Latitha. I'm Nicholas. Nice to meet you, sir. Miss La Miss Latitha here. Um, that's for Christians. You sure you don't need more of those? Um, I'm gonna have you coming out anyway. Okay. Yeah. You probably need my you need my contact information then. Okay, let me do that. Come on, guys. Call upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. 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 It's fair to say, folks, this is a unique evening. Two Christians back to back who had compassion, who got it. That is unheard of. That's a rare jewel right there. A rare jewel right there, and you got to see it on Facebook Live. You got to see it. Wow. You got to see on Facebook Live what I hardly ever see. Not one but two Christians and a mom who gets it, teaching her children right. Wow. Refreshing and rare here in America. Amen. 
We got a good mom right here. Hey, a good God. mom. That's. Hello. Hi. You said Latitha, right? Latitha. I got that right. Okay. Well, thank you for giving life to those babies. Amen. Mama. I'm, I'm doing the best I can, me and my husband. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> What's the number? It's uh three one six seven three seven five nine six seven. My name's Nicholas. Is it a love offering that you would request, Brother Nicholas? I don't request anything. Okay, but to, if you would like to do something, we could. Do as the Lord leads you. Amen. Do as the okay. Lord leads you. I definitely give you a call. Thank but, you. Um, here's um, for um, that's for unbelievers. Like if you want to pass those out to people, like um, just as you're going about your business, you can leave those anywhere. Put them in people's hands. Um, that's something you could do. Like just anywhere you go. Like it, no matter how busy you are, that's something you can do. And like just and. I do. I show the gospel everywhere I go. Praise God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Praise God. Matter of fact, the Sanctified Women Assembly, that's the group that you'll be coming to talk to. We just did, um, we're, we're a growing church. We don't um, have... Is it, is it just women? You want both? Oh, no, no, um, I'm saying if it's ladies, then I could get you in contact with with an, a, a female abolitionist that I, I work with on the streets who okay. could come talk to women. It'd be better for a woman to come talk to women. We have a man's group, too. I can okay. send you to the men's and she okay. can come and talk to the women. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, if it's a mixture, I could talk to him, but yeah, it'd be better. I can make it a mixture. That'd be fine. Okay, I'll make it a mixture. My And my name is uh, Nicholas Heald. Nicholas Heald. Uh, Nicholas Heald. Healed. H E A L D. Almost like the healed healed. Healed of sin. H E H E A L D. And I, I have a YouTube channel. Go and check it's it out. Here. It's It's just my name. Just put your name in. Yeah, just put my name in YouTube. You'll find me. Okay. Nicholas yes, Nicholas Healed. All right, I'll do that, and I tag in the comment section. I saw you today on Brandon and Providence. Thank but, you. Um, and Miss La Latitha, I want to encourage you to. Do you know? Do you know where the local child sacrifice centers are? The baby murder mills. There's. Um, the, 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 the abortion places. Yeah. I know it's one on Fowler. Fowler. You're talking about Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. On Fowler. I'm not for sure about this location. There's. Um, there's. There's. There's several in Tampa. There's one on Fletcher. We're going to be there tomorrow morning, Lord willing. And, um, I mean. I don't know if you're available tomorrow morning. I mean, this is a short notice, but we're going to, if you want to be with Christians tomorrow, or be with Christians out there, we're going to be out there tomorrow morning, Lord willing. But um, don't know what your schedule looks like, but if um, if you want to come join us at any of them, they're in Tampa or Lakeland. We were at Lakeland this morning at the Child Sacrifice Center, the Baby Murder Mill, and um, you could come join us because it's easier to stand with others. It is. I stood. I mean, I'm used to standing by myself, but it's easier to stand with others. So you could ask us, or like, you got my number. You could find out when are you all going to be out there, or I'd like to come join you because most. Most professing Christians will not go out there. Oh, we're going. The sanctified women will go out and support. Oh, oh, we, you want to supply something for us next like, thing? What's that? We have to make our own God signs and stuff. Oh, we got signs you can hold. Okay. We got signs you can hold. So I got what I do, I give you a call. We may come out and participate quicker, sooner than you coming to speak. But it's going to be both. But we've been looking for activities outside of soul winning. So this will be added to soul winning. Yes, it's part of soul winning because we give the gospel right, everywhere. Right, right, and right. Can, um, uh, if you if you're comfortable giving me your number, I could put you in touch with one of the ladies. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, just just write it down. But please, thank you. Thank you. Ms. Latitha, you probably don't know how rare it is that I meet a mom like you that, that teaches her sons what you just taught. I see it, but it's rare. It is, I've been doing, I've been preaching on the streets for five years everywhere in the country. I meet very, very few moms who have the heart that you do, who actually teach their children. More moms will scream at me and curse at me, call me all kinds of names, get in my face, rebuke me for holding these signs of murder babies rather than what you did. It's it's a rare jewel. We, 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 we discuss oh, thank you. Bible principles in our home. You know, I veered off. I'm back now. I've been a, well, following Christ now for 20 years. Praise God. And I vowed to God when he opened up my womb, I was going to make sure my kids knew about him. We're in the last days. It's yes, getting worse and worse and worse. Now they're making artificial yes, It's just getting worse and worse. Okay, dear brother. God bless you. 
What, what's the name of your church again? Fulfilling God's Purpose Church. Where is, and that's where? Right in Sef, um, Sefner. Sefner. On Kingsway. Kingsway, okay. Fulfilling God's Purpose Church. That's your nickname. Thank you, dear brother. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Latitha.